The equation y equals negative one-sixteenth x squared plus four x plus three models the height of an arrow where x is the horizontal distance in feet from the point the arrow is shot. So y represents the height in feet and x represents the horizontal distance traveled in feet. We want to answer the following three questions. Number one, how high is the arrow when it is shot? Number two, what is the maximum height of the arrow? And number three, how far horizontally does the arrow travel before hitting the ground? So let's go through these one at a time. To answer the first question of how high the arrow is when it is shot, right at the instant the arrow is shot, the arrow has not traveled horizontally. Therefore, to answer this question, we're going to set x equal to zero and then solve for y. So if we let x equal zero, we want to evaluate y of zero which would be negative one-sixteenth times zero squared plus four times zero plus three. So y of zero is just going to be zero plus zero plus three or three. Therefore the arrow starts at a height of three feet. Number two, we want to determine the maximum height of the arrow. Notice our equation is a quadratic equation and therefore the graph is a parabola and because A is negative, it's a parabola that opens down or looks something like this. So the maximum height of the arrow would be represented by the vertex. So we'll find the vertex where the x coordinate will represent the horizontal distance traveled and the y coordinate will be the maximum height. Remember the coordinates of the vertex are negative b over two a comma f of negative b over two a. So we'll start by determining the x coordinate of the vertex using this formula here. Notice a is equal to negative one sixteenth. b is equal to positive four and we don't need c but c is equal to three. So the x coordinate is going to be equal to negative b or negative four divided by two times a or two times negative one sixteenth. So let's put this two over one. We're going to have negative four divided by the two and the sixteen and simplify. This simplifies to one, this simplifies to eight. So we have negative one eighth. So we'll have negative four times the reciprocal of negative one-eighth, which is just negative eight, or negative eight over one. So x is equal to thirty-two or thirty-two feet. Again, this is the horizontal distance traveled at the maximum height. So to find the maximum height, we'll now have to substitute x equals thirty-two back into the original equation. So we want to find y of thirty-two, which is going to be equal to negative one-sixteenth, times thirty-two squared plus four times thirty-two plus three. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So we have negative one-sixteenth times thirty-two squared plus four times thirty-two plus three. So the maximum height is equal to sixty-seven feet. And then for the third question, we want to determine how far horizontally does the arrow travel before hitting the ground? Well, when the arrow hits the ground, the vertical height would be zero, which means y would be equal to zero. So we're going to set y equal to zero. So we'd have the equation zero equals negative one-sixteenth x squared plus four x plus three. Now this equation is not going to factor, so we'll have to solve this using the quadratic formula. And it's going to be easier if we eliminate this fraction by multiplying both sides by sixteen, or if we want a to be positive, let's multiply both sides by a negative sixteen. Remember, multiplying both sides of an equation by a constant is not going to change the solutions. So 
So we'll have zero equals, this would be positive one x squared minus 64 x, and this would be minus 48. So now we'll use the quadratic formula where a is equal to one, b is equal to negative 64, and c is equal to negative 48. So we'll have x equals negative b, or negative negative 64, that'll be positive 64, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 64 squared, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is negative 48, all over two times a, or two times one, which is two. So now let's go ahead and begin to simplify this. We'll have x equals 64 plus or minus, we'll come back to the discriminant. All this is divided by two. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So the discriminant is negative 64 squared minus four times one, which we don't need, but I'll put it in there, times negative 48. So we have 4,288 underneath the square root. And because we know x has to be positive, it's a horizontal distance, we only have to be concerned about the positive solution here, which would be 64 plus the square root of 4,288, all divided by two. So let's go back to the calculator. Our numerator is going to be 64 plus the square root of 4,288. Notice how we have two closed parentheses here, one for the square root and one for the numerator, divided by two. So the arrow travels approximately 64.7 feet horizontally before hitting the ground. Okay, I hope this example helps.